All right, guys, tip lit 2019. I'm late, but let's check out some precision ground flat stones by Shark River Machine Shop. All right, everybody, welcome back to the old iron shop. All right, we've got this really nice box. I've got it packed a little tight there, but anyway, it looks like it's made out of poplar. And I believe Stephen Lang made all these himself. Got a couple of nice stickers here. And I don't have one of Steven's stickers up here. I can't believe that. And I also got one Emma's. Of course, they were kind of both put on this competition. We've got a card here from Steven. And it shows uh, the Karen Use video. There's a URL for that. So we'll definitely link to that. This is what we're really after. And I've been sort of salivating over these for quite a while. Let me set these down here. Get them opened up. All right, here they are. And I believe these were made out of, uh, from Norton Stones. I'll have to double check Stephen, but uh, he sells these and I'll put a link to his channel. You guys can go over and check them out. Uh, they're a fantastic tool. Um, Robin Renzetti kind of popularized these, I think, uh, a year or two ago. And ever since, I knew I really needed to have a pair. Anyway, first of all, the one, one thing you really need to know about these things is that these are super, super flat. And the way this works is that it's so flat, uh, you know, a traditional sharpening stone, which is what this is made from, has a lot of high points, cutting edges that stick up. These have been ground off on a diamond wheel on a surface grinder to make them flat so they don't have those high points. So they, they just kind of float on each other. All right, you hear how it's not really, it's not really grinding away at the stone. So the way you keep these things dressed up is you hear how it changes just a little bit. So that's smoothed it all off, got all the little bumps and crud and whatever that might be in there. Okay, so these are for dressing up your precision surfaces like say you got an angle plate. This is of course from a, a video I did quite a while back uh, collaborating with uh, Randy Richard and we ground this thing I believe it was within a couple of tenths of flatness and square here or at least in squareness. So I want to kind of check it and see how really nothing is happening here. So that's good, that's what you kind of want. It shouldn't, it shouldn't be abrading away at the surface. And I can see another little spot right here. Very hard to catch the light on this stuff just right. Anyway, oh, there we go. So you can see where it's polished that off. So we kind of just polish that. And that's good. That's nice and smooth now. So that's, we've improved that surface. But you can see you got some stuff on the stone. So you rub them together again and it'll lap each other nice and flat. Okay, so you can use this on your mill table, you know, all your precision tooling like these uh, angle plates but it can also be used on round things. And this is a precision mandrel for uh, testing. I bought it for doing testing of uh, the alignment on my lathe. I need, it's covered with oil right now, so I'll need to clean it up. But you can also polish on these round surfaces. Now I've wiped the oil off, so I'm gonna polish up my stones. And we're going to check it around here. Now this one, and I'm going to kind of slowly rotate this as I'm checking it. So I work the whole surface. I see one little spot shining up right there. Yeah, that seems to be pretty good. Before I forget, one other thing that these are an excellent tool for uh, is if you're doing any hand scraping. So if you're rebuilding a lathe or something like that and uh, 
you know, in between each scraping cycle, it leaves a small burr where you take each little tiny cut. Uh, this is probably one of the best ways to smooth those. If you just use a normal sharpening stone to do that, uh, you're going to be maybe altering the precision of the flatness that you're trying to achieve. So this won't do that, but it will remove the burr for you. These are great tools. I'd hate to quote Stephen's prices, but I, I believe it's around $100, uh, maybe a little bit more. But get a hold of him, check him out if you need some of these. These are great tools. And I want to thank him for uh, you know providing these as a prize for the tool making competition. All right, guys, I want you to check out Emma's uh, videos and all the other people that participated in the tip blitz. Last I heard, there was like 75 videos. So this is a really great way for the machine shop and metalworking communities to kind of help each other. Whenever we do stuff like that, that really helps get a lot of uh, views for people that have smaller channels, you know. So anyway, see you guys around.